Stanza Munoz today at VIF. We're here at the Playhouse. Uh, we're going to get in touch and chat with the cast and crew of Edge of the Knife. Very excited. If it can be of use to people, you know, I, I really want to have uh, more opportunity for people to hear Haida language inside of their homes, particularly Haida people. Well, you know, I, I, I hope that, you know, nobody throws any tomatoes at us or anything like that. And, you know, besides that, uh, I really hope that um, it's something that my people can be proud of. Um, you know, there's a ton of people that were involved in the production. And so, um, yeah. Uh, and uh, other than that, like, uh, I look forward to making more projects along this line. And maybe, maybe uh, next time we'll go for something a little lighter. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think that um, we support each other when, when we deal with uh, all of our language struggles. So, so you know, as we, as we, um, as one nation, you know, builds on the process that's ongoing, uh, we all lift each other. Well, it's a uh, Gogit movie, or Gogi hit in Skidigit. And that is the Haida Wildman, but it's the whole movie sort of um, encapsulates like um, like uh, a process of moving forward and and sort of holding uh, someone who has strayed close to us and not not abandoning them. And uh, one last question. How does it feel taking part of the first feature spoken in only the dialects of Haida Gwaii language? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure if I, if I have a good answer to a question like that. I, I, you know, uh, it's, it's been full throttle of us, of, of us working on this project. And so, so, you know, like whether we're the first or the or the fifteenth or whatever, you know, I'm 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 proud, and I think it's important that when we do these projects, that we we deal in our language because that's an integral part of our culture. So, so in that sense, I I I feel like it was an important choice for us. Thank you very much. Well, I think that there's something really special about community filmmaking. I think that being able to do something creatively within rural communities, uh, especially particularly in some of our indigenous communities, well, I think across human <laughs> in general, being able to access and doing something creative um, and the elements of it that can be culturally regenerative and language regenerative is, you know, paired with creativity is really fun and exciting and creates a lot of vibrancy and I actually think for human health in general creativity is really important. <laughs> um, well I think the long-term goal is to have a Haida film industry and um, part of this process was um, ensuring that uh, not only that there's capacity building within the islands of Haida Gwaii and uh, the Haida community in Alaska um, so that filmmaking can continue um, there, that that be an added sort of industry um, where, you know, we don't have to turn just to forestry or the few options. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Um, yeah. Yeah, we don't like to use the word endangered. I think that there's, uh, you know, 
the truth of the matter of indigenous languages is that there are so many people within our communities who have been striving and working to learn our languages, who are doing many, many things. And so our communities are vibrant and alive and our languages are also going through that transformation and shift. And so if we can accompany that through filmmaking and through storytelling um, and be part of that tradition of this vibrancy, it's a really, really exciting thing. Yeah. I mean, well, I think what's really, really cool too is that there's a large urban Haida community here in Vancouver and uh, so, so many of them have not got to see this. Um, we did the community screenings back in uh, Skidigat and Masset and we still haven't done the Alaskan uh, screening yet which were full houses and I think that was like our primary audience for this film and so I think that this is the time that the, the that uh, the Vancouver Haida community gets to see it and obviously with the reception here in Vancouver it's been pretty amazing I've just heard now that the third screening that they booked has now been sold out at the center um, which is seats like 1200 people <laughs> it's pretty amazing yeah well uh, the community reaction from what I mean, you could you could feel the energy for sure in the in the in the theater or in the community halls. Um, people were super super excited. Uh, a lot of the feedback that we got was that it was very emotional for a lot of people. And I thought initially maybe because we're seeing they're getting to see their cousins in a film on the big screen or whatever. But I think a lot of people were just really engaged also in the story, just the emotional journey that we take people on in the story. But I think. Your own reflection, um, and also hearing your language is pretty powerful. How does it feel taking part of the festival today? Great. We've, we've been having a lot of fun, uh, partly just being able to be with everybody who was part of this journey, who were all like a family, and some who haven't still been able to see the film for whatever reasons they were. This is going to be their first time tonight, too. And uh, yeah, and just getting to share, share this with, with more people. Thank you so much. first question just to get things going and I'm curious how the two of you came to work together and how you chose this to be the story you wanted to bring this community together and, and share <laughs> oh, 
Uh, well, we started with a story. There was a, a process that that predated my involvement. Um, so, me, my little brother uh, Graham Richard, and Leonie Sandercock came together to write this story. But before that, there was a, um, a community process that, that I wasn't actually very involved in. Um, but it but it went towards this idea of 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 telling a story out of our community. And um, so I, I don't know if anybody here was involved. No, I mean Leonie Sandercock or Dana Morais could speak to the community planning part of it. Thank you. Actually, the idea came from our community five years ago when we were doing uh, comprehensive community planning and our community wanted to protect the land and waters of Haida Gwaii and revitalize our language. And from that idea sparked this idea of let's make a film, let's revitalize our language, let's make it entirely in Haida and let's showcase the beauty of Haida Gwaii and it took a community to make this movie. I just have to make a really quick note, total sidebar note, because I just Dana stepped up here. I just want to note, note that Dorothy Grant dressed a whole bunch of us. Those and Dorothy Grant stepped forward. <laughs> and um, maybe you can speak about uh, how you approached uh, using the, uh, the images of the land and how you wanted to represent the land on screen because obviously it's a it's a character onto its own it's part of the such a rich part of the story and the conversations you had with your cinematographer so i'm from the chilcote and i'm from this plateau country a eh? real open all that stuff so this was a struggle for me to think around the land and how to shoot it and and we had a really beautiful conversations guy and i early on in the stage around how do we capture something in a Haida and I really want I was interested what is Haida art the tension between uh, negative space positive space we thought about that cinematically and I think then we like kind of just threw it all out the window and went with instinct through it but one thing I know for sure I really wanted to explore what insider voice looked like as opposed to outsider voice and so one of the things I talked about is I think that a lot of um, old archival Haida footage or Haida photography like you know, Curtis and all that was these photos front on of village sites and looking at the totem poles and the the really incredible um, images of that. But I was like, how does it look like from inside the community? What does it look like behind the longhouses, from on top of the longhouses, looking the side of of totem poles? But Gwai, throughout the film, whenever the cinematographer would always... John, sorry. John France, everybody... John France would slowly gravitate into front of the totem pole to get the shot again. And I'd say, no, stop it, you know? And so Gwai made this joke that I hated totem poles. <laughs> and that my husband's a carver and carves totem poles, that I'm jealous of totem poles because they steal attention from me. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first time Samantha got to see the film. And I'm wondering if there's a few... Who else didn't get to see the film yet? Zach, can we ask the two of them what it was like to watch this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Not going to lie, I'm a little jealous that my singing wasn't in there when you um, maybe learn it right before the scenes. <laughs> so we... Sam. Hurt my ego just a little bit. <laughs> Sam, Sam, we cut the film together, and it was over three hours long. And so then we're like, well, we have to cut it in half. <laughs> we can't have <laughs> we can't have Sam sing two <laughs> songs. Just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> I was just sharing. Um, <laughs> I um, was just sharing with my good friend um, 
how I had some of the best times of my life being out there with all of you. Well, first time <clears throat> seeing the film, I thought it was absolutely um, beautiful. Like, it just, just blew my expectations out of the water. And it's just Jonathan did a great job. And all everybody else on the special effects... <clears throat> yep, that's that's it. it it's my uh, first time being in front of so much people here, and everybody's so happy. It was it was fun making the movies. My first time. And uh, it was hard for me to not smile or laugh <laughs> while, while I was doing the movies. And I was so happy to be with all my cousins here in Yan. And I'm happy my son came over with me from Skidding It, mm -hmm. and my sister, and all my good friends here. And I, I hope we do real good in the movies. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you, Scum Street. Hello, I said my hiding name is Scum And my... Other names, Harold Williams, and from from my school, there's about 30 of us in there, and I've been going seven years now, and it sure taught me lots, and I hope everybody keeps up the Haida language, and hope we do it more often. Hawa, hawa. Oh, thank you, everybody, for coming out and watching this movie. Um, even though I didn't have any words in the movie, I I, I played the watcher, but uh, I, I enjoyed watching every one of them <laughs> perform. But um, yeah, um, I, I I sat in with them and I I um, took interest in the Heidel language. I, I learned with them and I studied with them. And I watched them grow right from uh, day one. When they were learning their lines, um, how hungry they wanted, how hungry they were, they were to grab that, that uh, language of ours. And I encouraged all of them to keep it up because we're losing it. And um, right now, uh, this movie's about the beautiful land that we live on. And not very long ago, I, I stood on the lines fighting for our land. And we put a stop to uh, this logging company for a little while. Uh, but then um, they put an injunction against us. But uh, we stopped them for a few weeks. But um, we're going to keep on fighting for our land. And we're going to fight to our last breath. And, um, yeah, I, I was kind of jealous I had no words in it that time. <laughs> but I didn't even go for an interview in the first place. Quite just came up to me and asked me if I wanted a job. <laughs> sure, I would, I, I wouldn't turn down in a job. But I was fortunate, fortunate enough to have a little bit of a uh, hard part in this. And I'm, lo I'm looking forward to seeing where this is going to go. And, uh, I'm so proud of all of these people here. They, they weren't even really acting. They, they felt they felt the ancestors. They were there with them. Their tears were flowing, and um, even I started crying when I was out there watching. <laughs> so yeah, just watching them work was incredible. Thank you. The healing experience of it was. When we were doing the acting lessons, we had to leave our character on set. So when I was in my character, 
I dug down to find those emotions, whether it was a life experience or something that was happening in my life that day. Um, I was able to show it and express it through the character. So when I left the character on stage, I, I was able to leave whatever that emotion was coming that was a hardship or a loss, anything that was there. So my experience for that, for the movie and being part of it was amazing. I have a lot of gratitude for all the people who helped pull this all together. Our language, I have so much respect for the Nunais and the Chinais that were all out there. I was trying to be a really big baby about it, and I could see Nunai and Chinai waking up every day. Pain, no pain, out, just out, out at yawn where my husband comes from. It was amazing. How ah uh, to everybody who was here. Which oh. one? Oh, my real husband. <laughs> this, Brandon, this guy right here. Brandon, give a wave. He's, he's my real husband. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out and supporting this. It was quite an experience. None of us had ever done anything like this. And I guess what makes my heart big is my family had three generations in the film. There was me as the Nanai and my daughter, Gachagait Ewans, right here, and my granddaughter, Emma. <laughs> Well, um, right from the beginning, uh, the, the excitement I don't know I was feeling was uh, when we were uh, saving up camp and building the set. I had to uh, spend time with with my old man George, who he comes from the village of Yan, where the mo a majority of the uh, shooting was was done. So. So for us to go back there and then and be working together, that was the, that was pretty incredible, right, right from the start. Uh, and then to be involved with uh, with with my beautiful family, the, the the and seeing the incredible work my wife has done on screen. I was going to say number one, but I love you. But uh, how would uh, the whole cast and crew, you guys are all great, and Ellen and Gwai, it was uh, uh, great to be a, a small part of uh, the, uh, the big picture. And uh, you're, you're, you're incredible people. And uh, everybody, it's, it was incredible, uh, incredible work. And uh, right on, uh, we did it. Beauty. Hawa. Hawa, hawa, hawa. Hawa so much. It's so, so awesome to see all of you out here. And I was so grateful to be in this movie, especially to be able to talk in our own language because our language was taken away when we were little. We weren't allowed to talk our own language. And it was really hard for me for the longest time to, to try to learn our own language. And... The reason why I'm mentioning this is because uh, our future for our language is in dire straits right now. we got so many of our people that are um, dying off that we really can't talk to, and it hurts so badly. But we're trying really hard with this group of people that we have here. It's so awesome that they want to be able to continue our Haida language. I, I was, I'm very proud of the fact that we were mentioned on the front page of the New York Times. <laughs> Thank you. 
it, it, it's so awesome. I, I yap away at everybody. I'm a really good gabber. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I perform even at home. My name is Five Different Colors. I do comedy acts and stuff like that. I'm at music fest and stuff like that. I dress up in this lady's fat suit and tell dirty jokes. <laughs> uh huh. And I mean, I really been enjoying this movie because when I was in the canoe, we were, they had to practice packing me out, and oh man, they practiced good. And I had all these handsome men here packing me out of the canoe. Yeah. Save <laughs> our planet and our trees because our trees are all deleting out as well. So help us try to save our planet, please. Love you lots. Hawa. My other name is Yat Gallus. Translation: Raven Dance. My English name is Curtis Brown. Uh, I just want to say a huge hello for everyone that's in this room to take part and witness uh, history that has been made by amongst us Haidas and show the power that we truly do have. And being part of the film uh, when I first started. You know, uh, it definitely brought me so much closer to everyone on the stage and all the uh, crew members that were part of it as well. I got to get to know them very well, and I uh, appreciate all the work you guys done. You guys did an amazing job. The cast did an amazing job. Guai, Helen, Hoa, you guys did amazing. Dana, you guys just, oh, you guys are phenomenal. But what... Uh, Okay. <laughs> what brought me and Nani so close together was, yes, the jupe scene. Um, to elaborate more on that, I didn't know that was going to happen. Um, uh, I seen the script and I was like, oh, cool. I get to... Uh, I get to do the Gagit dance. It will be an honor. And I was looking forward to it, and then all of a sudden, uh, yeah, I uh, got juked, and I was, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> just because I was so into it, and I was into character, and I'm, <sighs> and boom. I was like, oh, okay. But it was just, I was just laughing so hard underneath the mask, and I just, uh, <laughs> we did that more than once. <laughs> so yes, me and Nan got so close in that scene. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, this film has been so incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, I love everyone up on the stage. Uh, all the emotional scenes too that were that was made. Uh, they were tough for me as well. Uh, but uh, because we came so close that we were there for one another during those difficult scenes and the hard scenes. I admit, I, I did cry um, in the death scene. And you know that, that really pulled a lot of emotions out of me. Uh, but I was just so glad to have the team here to be so be so supportive. Uh, but yeah, how are again? I appreciate everything and how uh, This is probably one of the most difficult things that I think all, most of us were, were have ever pulled off um, when when we, when the idea of the movie came along and the, the script came along and the auditions came along. I remember the feeling in, in our village, in my village of Skidigit was, uh, how are we going to do this? How is anybody going to pull this off? Or how, what are we going to do? We don't know how to speak the language. Uh, and 
for the for the first couple of weeks that the casting was that I didn't even I didn't want to I didn't want to audition I didn't think I had what it took to be able to to speak my own language um, I just haven't spoken it and like everyone said our language was taken away from us but uh, I got a lot of push and a lot of encouragement from uh, a lot of people that I love uh, my, my my partner Karen um, uh, my cr- my crew up here Anna and Desiree. Um, uh, people that I work with uh, on my everyday job, uh, just they just pushed me to do to, to go for it, and and so I did, and and uh, it was it was scary all the way through, all the way up until the point we first seen the movie. It was absolutely petrifying because I had no idea what was going to be up on that screen after after we had finished the the project, but. I should have had faith. I mean, it turned out incredible, and I, I just uh, like like you guys have all seen. Everybody is joking. Everyone is having fun. We actually truly became a family out there. We lived in a family. We lived in Haida Haida, Haida traditional way, and so a lot of that translated into the movie. Just the way we were living and the way the cast and the crew was put together. Um, we were all all family, uh, uh, like Megan, Athena, Lonnie, all, all of our makeup and everything. We were always together. We were always joking. We were always making each other comfortable. But I spent um, yeah months and months and months of sleepless nights trying to just practice the language, figure it out. I, I, when I first tried, I had an English accent on the, on the language, so I had to really to, to, to work on it and work on it. And so, but... Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I worked on it. Everybody made me work, and the elders made us work. I, I have to show Auntie Diane over here. If it wasn't for her, we, I don't think we would have pulled this off. She's uh, an incredible speaker. She's, uh, yeah. Yeah. and they, they definitely, our elders whipped us into shape and made sure every single day if we pronounced one little thing wrong, they would let us know. We would do one take, and I would nail it and I'd be like yeah I did that and then Gwai would be like no no that's that's not Gwai do it like this and, and Gwai would actually act out the whole scene for me so I just copy what Gwai did <laughs> so yeah so but so but that it was just yeah such a learning experience for all of us we all love each other we fell in love with each other Ad- Adina Tyler and I shout out to Tyler he's not here tonight the main character Um, But we would spend hours together in makeup or just in our tents or every single day or even late at night. We wouldn't sleep. We would just, we would be up practicing and practicing and practicing, the three of us, together as much as we could. And we really wanted to bring the best out. We understood the the level of pride that we had to have for for a project like this for our people for our legacy for for our future you know, the past everything tied into this and we knew we had a huge responsibility on our hands not just a movie but but something that'll help us preserve who we are for for generations and so we did we did everything we could so I'm really grateful really grateful to see so many people embracing the film and thank you all for coming out it was it was amazing to see the reaction of all these people and uh, yeah we're we're trying to save our culture and trying to save our island and and in doing so we're you know trying to save the planet and so we hope you guys join us in that journey so thank you very very much thank you so much all for being here as well thank you again <laughs>